Hey everybody, Apex Comics here. I have another package to open. No surprise, right? I've been keeping up with my videos. I'm just thinking, damn, these guys get a lot of packages. Well, yeah, man. So, uh, keeping the economy alive. So, uh, I'm going to open this damn thing. We need some scissors, some skizzers. Skizzers, yes. This great man suggested skizzers. So catch Gray Man, you guys. He's from Britain. He has his own cool little comic channel. He's a funny heavy metal guy. He loves comics. The Gray Man. So give him a nice free plug. I've been on his live stream once. So hopefully we'll do so again there. The time difference kind of kills me though. <laughs> but oh man. Uh, yeah, screw I'm using a knife on this shit. Yeah, man. Oh. See, it's a box here. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this baby. Carefully. Carefully. And let's not speak moistly, okay? <laughs> oh man, it kills me when they, they do this. Uh, that's their system. Cut carefully. Oh lord. I'll try not to cut into the, to the comic. God no. Don't cut into the comic. Oh, I noticed I have 198 subscribers. I need two more subscribers to get 200. Then after that, 800 more to get 1,000. Then hopefully I'll get monetized. And look at this, baby. Giant size man thing. Hey, anybody has a giant size man thing? I have another one. <laughs> hey, it's number four. Frank Brunner cover. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you gotta love the man thing, right? Let's just take let's open this bad boy up. Oh god, it's damn tape, man. Oh. Easy. Easy. Oh god, come on. Oh. Oh. Man, it's in the Fort Knox, alright? It's, it's a freaking comic. Oh, man. It's, uh, yeah, man. A little bit of wear, but you know what the hell? It looks really good, though. It's the man thing. Ooh. The kids' night out. Uh oh. Oh. Ed Hennigan and Ron Wilson did the pencils. Frank Springer. Inks. Look at the credits here. Oh, Steve Gerber, of course. Yeah, Steve Gerber. So, uh, let's check this bad boy out. Holy shit. Nice. Ah. Uh, oh, it's like Man Thing's eye, and he's like in the wilderness. There's a deer. Ooh, is he gonna... Ooh, no. Deer's in trouble. And things like, oh, man, maybe I should, uh, give him a hand. So he lifts that log up. Helps that poor deer out. That's pretty cool. That thing's kind of peaceful, you know? In a way, he is. Let's the deer go. Oh, he's in there. Oh, we have some kind of a minister. Uh, hmm. It's our funeral. So. Wow. Oh. The grief. Who? 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 Who is she? Who? What's what does she want? Oh, uh, somebody back there, tell that crazy broad to shut up before I 
punch her tweet out. Damn. Punch her teeth. Man, that's... Man, they wouldn't be putting that in Marvel nowadays. <laughs> She's been saying some outrageous stuff. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, man. Ooh. Did everyone see that? What? He must have gotten his, his nerves out, man. Didn't see a girl punched out in a comic book before. Nothing like civilians. Maybe like supervillains and, you know, a female hero. But, man, that's nuts, dude. Oh, they're freaked out about the man thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Oh, drop punch. Oh, that's blocked by the man thing. Oh, feels fear. Just burn, burning this guy's hand or whatever. Ooh, it's crazy. It's like enough of this crap. And the paper legacy. Okay. Well, that was dudes beating up a winner, man. Enough of that shit. <laughs> All right. Well, she must be getting on people's nerves or something. Deserve that sort of thing. Ah. Okay. Is that the paper legacy? Is it be like the paper chase? What the hell is this? Garber's a strange writer. He really is. Oh, there's that deadliest man around. <laughs> Count Dante. Ooh, like a short story or something. Merchants and Regret. Okay. Ah. So this is like a short story here with the man thing. This is kind of crazy. Let's... Wow. All right. And I guess that's something. Some kind of paper they're looking at. This is something. The, the final silence. Wow. Oh, remember these old ads? Oh, where's the other page? All right, here we go. Ah. I have to really read this story out. You too can get Giant Size Man Thing number four at your local comic shop or mycomicshop.com or find it on eBay or the man thing the essential man thing has I think it has this issue in there the black and white or color man thing if you want the line artwork the essential man things the book to get wow man things getting clubbed oh no Oh, they, he smells the fear. Oh, he's going after these guys. Ooh. <laughs> Smack. Wow. It's a good idea to get two pencilers on this because that's a lot of freaking work drawing these pages. That takes some time to do. Yeah, mail, mail things. Ah, yeah. How cool is that? And he, going through the past issues of Man... Oh, it was a Marvel value stamp. It's Fu Manchu. Or, no, I'm sorry. It's the ancient one from Doctor Strange. That's cool. Yeah, man. Wow. Very nice. Holy crap. Are we... Oh, my God. Is, we're getting Howard the Duck. Holy crap, man. Oh, good. You got... You got Frank Brunner's... Oh, yeah, man. It's got some Frank Brunner goodness in this one. Wow, this is a good deal. Uh, actually, he penciled it, inked it, and colored it. Frank Brunner. Did a damn good job. I like how he draws Howard, man. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's like a Howard the Duck. Oh God, one dollar bill. He's on the dollar bill. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. This is awesome. Oh, uh, 
is a little liquor day. It's crazy. I like how he drops the bricks. The building. Yeah. Really nice, beautiful layouts. I'm really enjoying this. Hope you guys are too. I love this stuff. <laughs> Can even the Black Panther save himself from Salamander Cruel? I didn't realize Salamanders are villains. Oh, look out, Salamanderite from Cyberfrog. Hey. Oh, wow. Damn, who's this guy? The Man Frog. Holy shit, this guy's crushing a car. Wow, this is nuts, dude. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Oh, this guy's a giant ass man frog. They're freaked out. I'd freak out too to see something like that. Like how it is. Wow. Let's go off and try to fight that thing. Forget it. <laughs> ah. Pops away. Wow. Entered the doorway of doom. Wow. Good stuff. We have more ads. Look out for 70s ads. Karate. <laughs> oh, good. Some more stuff. Man, 68 pages. You gotta love it. That's a dialogue here, man. Wow. I like these different tales inside these books. It's like old timely uh, comics reprints. Oh, the man with no past. Ooh, the man with no past. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Like, where did he come from? He has no past. Don't know. Oh, but Joe Manili. God, oh, Joe Manili, man. He died uh, quite young. I think he was in his 40s. I think he stepped off a train and got run over by a freaking train. I mean, oh, man. I mean, he's one of the guys who uh, who was in Timely. A lot of the horror titles and a lot of the other hero titles. But, uh, man, what a loss. I mean, very young. He was in his early 40s. It's just a crazy accident. But uh, Stan Lee really relied on that guy from, for his art. And, man, he really put out some good stuff. Yeah. Really, really digging it. Oh. Oh, there you have it, folks. Beautiful book. Giant size man thing. Number four. I can have one and three, I think maybe five, but I need two and number two. I think I only have five giant size bag things. So, hey, please like, subscribe, ring bell for notifications. I do have a comments contest, super prize giveaway. If you, the, the person with the most comments in all my videos gets the grand prize of one. You get one uh, Silver Age comic, one Bronze Age comic, one Copper Age comic, one Modern Age comic, one Current Age comic, and a uh, original Wolverine Rise of Thunderbird sketch. Second place winner gets uh, four comics and a color um, art print. Third place prize gets three comics and one black and white art print. I'll sign them all, of course. 
All right, now I like to uh, go to the, let's go to my art table, see what, show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, this book right here, I received one of my Thor packs. You notice there's a cut right here. I wasn't really happy with this cover. It's kind of worn out. But what I did, I actually revamped the cover and said, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, wraparound rendition. It's the actual size of this book, right? See the size of it? It's just as good as this one, when you think about it. I'm going to actually uh, ink the rest of this. I'm going to photocopy it and color it. And I'm going to uh, take the staples out of this. Put, uh, wrap, wrap this wraparound around this to protect it be actually a nice bonus variant cover so I don't know too many people doing this I have another copy of this one in my uh, my box but this is part of a, a triple um, package of Thor's 129 130 131 and this one's the rest of uh, the other two comics are, are pretty good you know better shape than this one but at least the inside of this is looks really good it's readable you can actually read the story very important so yeah, so uh, I think it's really cool. It's already looking really good. And uh, once it's finished, uh, man, I'll, I'll show you what's going on. I may have to uh, do a video of uh, rep of coloring this cover. So hey, please like, subscribe, ring bell for notifications. This is your buddy Apex Comics. Have a beautiful day.